All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So I got this truck over here and it keeps dying on the owner. So I'm gonna flip y'all around. Let's see what's wrong with this thing. All right, so let's take a look here. This is a little loose, I don't like that, but it won't start how it is. Pretty sure the alternator's bad. Uh, that battery is pretty new, 720, they just got it. So, let's see. There's nothing disconnected. The main power wire is on there, not broken. Let's fire it up. It's not going to start like this. I'm going to jump it and uh, see what's going on. All right, so the voltage is just dropping super, super low, and then it stalls out, of course, because it doesn't have enough voltage to run all the electronics. So I already checked uh, all the fuses, made sure there wasn't any you know, broken wires or anything. I checked the voltage at the back of the alternator, and it's bad. So let's go find us a new one, guys. All right, so for this truck, they had a 95 amp and 130 amp. So I got the 130 amp and they had new and refurbished and one year warranty and lifetime warranty. So I got a refurbished 130 amp lifetime warranty. That way we got the strongest one. It's cheaper because it's refurbished and it's got lifetime warranty. So if it breaks, I'm gonna go swap it out. So I'm gonna flip y'all around. I'm gonna show you what I got and let's put this thing on. All right, guys, so here's the one I got, 130 amp, refurbished. It looks pretty good. Let me get it out of the box here, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so this thing looks pretty good. You can tell it's definitely refurbished, though, because it says Motorcraft, and it's definitely not a Motorcraft box. So they just go through, blast the whole thing, paint it, whatever. The coil, uh, the copper's still good, so they recoat it in enamel, I guess. I'm sure they do and uh, you know, just clean up everything, but it's pretty much good as new. It's just the casing and the coppers, the expensive part on these things, so they just uh, refurbish it and you know, put it all together, replace the broken stuff. So if you can get one with a lifetime warranty that's refurbished, you know, there's really no big deal, but um, of course, new electronics are always the best. So let's pop this one on and get that old one off of there. All right, so let's take out these battery terminals because we don't want this thing sparking at all.
All right, guys, so we lost light, but unfortunately, you can't decide when things break at what time of day, so we're working on it at night, but that's fine. Um, we got the plugs in, everything's tight, the belt, got it, and I got this little mini breaker bar. Uh, this little thing, it slides. That's really handy. That was really handy to get in there to get the adjuster adjusted. But basically, I just got to slap this uh, air tube on here and then we're gonna fire up. All right, guys, let's hook the battery back up and fire this puppy up. All right, guys, so we're sitting at 11.86 volts right now. So this thing is super dead. Um, I have to jump it off the truck behind me to get it started. We're looking for 13.5, 13.8, 14 volts. So let's see what happens. Awesome guys, so we got this thing fixed up. We got over 14 volts, like 14.2 volts. I thought it was gonna be, you know, 13.5, 13.8 volts, but we got well over 14 volts, so that's awesome. I'm confident this thing is fixed now. So that's it for the video. If y'all enjoyed it, drop me a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to comment, subscribe for more videos in the future. I'll catch y'all in the next one. For now, y'all, I'm out. Peace.